And in this, I'm just going to say end in this corner. <laughs> that's not, not a boxing match. No, that's not how it works. That's not how no. it works. The it's plaintiff. Ben, yes, it's Ben and Kelly Court and the plaintiff and defendant, Tim and Stephanie. Um, Kelly, if you want, go ahead and tell us Stephanie's, I guess, complaint. Well, as as is always the case in Ben and Kelly court, we really could just get one side of the story. And that's the plaintiff, and that is Stephanie. She says, hey, Ben and Kelly, I need your help. Our daughter's birthday is coming up next week. She has asked to have the day off of school as one of her presents. Okay. She wants to take the day, have a little spa day, stuff like that. I don't mind the whole spa day thing, but I don't think she should be skipping school for it. She's in elementary school, only has a few more weeks left, so I think she needs to make sure she's getting the most out of these last few weeks of school before the break. Plus, I think it sets a bad example that going to school is a punishment when it's actually a privilege. Mm. My dear husband, Tim. (laughs) My dear husband, (laughs) Tim. Oh, wow. Thinks it's not a big deal. And for the same reasons I want her there, he says it's fine if she takes the day because there's only a few more weeks left and they won't be learning much now that testing is over. To be fair, she never misses school Hasn't had a sick day, sick day all year. So what do you guys think? I will be honest. If you side with my husband, I may not tell him I asked you. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Love your show. Wow. <laughs> I love the honesty there. Thank you, Stephanie. Yep. Um, oh, all right. So uh, she's like, no, you got to go to school. You can do a spa day on a day that you don't have school. Um, husband is like, nah, give her the day off. What's it going to matter? I uh, tend to agree with Stephanie on this one. Uh, see, I know. I, I'm such a killjoy. I will agree with her husband. Really? Yeah, I'll say, you know what? Are look. we going to be divided in this courtroom? That's that's what it is. Um, oh, gosh. Now so, we need a jury. We need know, a jury to break need... our time. Dang it! <laughs> This wasn't a one and done. It wasn't. I uh, thought this was yeah, going to be so easy. I think I think uh, one school day, especially at the end of the year, if she's been uh, if she's been a good student and hasn't been like missing school day in and day out and all that stuff, and she, you know, and if like you know testing is over at that point, ah, why not? But they hand out perfect attendance awards, don't they? Is she just gonna throw all that away? For a spa day that she could have on a Saturday? Apparently, she is all right with that. Mm-hmm. So I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of siding with the husband here. I, I think, you know what? Yes, yes, I understand. School is a privilege; shouldn't be looked at as a punishment. But I don't think we're necessarily looking at it as a punishment and just saying, "Hey, yeah, sure, you take a take a quote sick day, take a mental health day, take a birthday day, take whatever you want day," and. Uh, go do your thing, and and it's it's one it's one school day out of the year. I I know some people that have done this before, and they just kind of like have a day, and and that's fun. Or or they take their kids out early to go on you know vacation, get vacation started early. That's happened. Or... I mean, how many times uh, here in Louisville we had to literally take the Friday before Derby off because uh-huh. the teachers were like, "Yeah, I'm going to be at yeah. the drag." Yeah. And, and the, <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, yeah, I mean, the, the, so you, finally the yeah. district was just like, all right, fine. You know, we're going to make it a day, you know, and, and when, you, when you frame it like that, okay. And if there isn't anything like she's not missing tests. All right, man, but Kelly, I'm, Kelly, Kelly was flexing be, there. She might, she might be, be convinced. I might be, you know, persuaded. However, I, if, if things like perfect attendance awards are important, Maybe we don't throw it away for something that we could do on a Saturday. But... Yeah, but but what's a perfect attendance award? <laughs> what's not going to get you in life? It's not going to get you anything in life. Stephen writes in and says, hey, as an elementary school teacher, we're not doing much with these kids. LOL. If her grades are good, then she deserves a day off. Well, yeah, all right. I feel like Stephen is the authority to say that. So I'll hang my hat on what Stephen says. If he says it's fine, then it's fine. Yeah, Amy says, look, make the memories. I'm a teacher no different than an adult taking the day off work for themselves. All right. Well, okay. You know, all right. Now, now, look, I think... I think we just needed that kind of validation from the teachers. Well, I, I will say that I may have wavered a little bit if she wasn't getting good grades and she was already, like, skipping school and doing right. stuff like that throughout the year. But she's a good kid. She's getting good grades. You know... Hasn't let, missed a day. And, and how that will make her birthday so much more special to go back and say, yeah, I skipped school for, you know, 
do that, all that stuff. You know, and and I mean, I think I I think personally, I I, I don't I don't see it as a big deal. But you know, and Terry is offering a loophole. Uh, if she wants a perfect attendance award, go to school, then sign out early, have your day. <laughs> <laughs> Work in the system. I I don't know how perfect attendance works. I, I don't if you if you have to be there the entire day, or if that that is a thing where you can just go and sign her out uh, after after they take first attendance or whatever but see well I, you know what i i i am gonna go ahead and say i am defaulting to the teachers they say it's fine i'm like all right team husband on this one look at that i i have, have been persuaded kelly k yes all we wow. just needed was lawyer steven to come rolling Wait, in hang on what about my rationale you weren't oh. gonna side because of my sound judgment i mean not necessarily come on <laughs> But I needed Stephen the teacher to say it's fine because that's his world, right? So I needed their perspective. Even though, even though I had a valid argument. You did. You still needed someone else to. I need someone else to say it. You just couldn't be like, yeah, Ben, you're right. That is that is a valid point that I didn't see before. And I will then therefore change my no, perspective and point of view. I saw it. I just needed someone coming from like an, a, an authority <laughs> status, being in the school system, being right. an elementary school teacher fine. to say it's fine. Give the stamp of approval. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully, uh, Stephanie, you will tell your husband about this. Yeah, or Stephanie, or we'll tell him. <laughs> or we'll tell him. <laughs> hey, um, unrelated, will you go ahead and send us uh, your husband's phone number? Unrelated. <laughs> completely unrelated. I we I just want to check in on him, see if he's okay. Also, I feel like now we need to send her daughter a birthday gift. <laughs> I have a Michael Graves toaster. <laughs> I don't think that's a <laughs> that good birthday be, gift. Why not? For an <laughs> elementary kid? Here's a toaster, kid. Enjoy. No, I, don't, I don't think that she needs a toaster. All right. There you go. That, <sighs> that is Ben and Kelly Court. Another wow. successful Ben and Kelly Court. Yeah. And sorry, Stephanie, we are favoring for the defendant. Oh, wait a second. One, one, one last thing. One last thing. Jim, the school bus driver, said one of my daughters had perfect attendance from K through 12. JCPS took them to Ruth Chris. <gasps> Okay, we'll take your daughter to Ruth's Chris. Someday. We're saying just still, still ditch school. Still ditch school. Yeah, I'm it's going to be fine. Yeah, Have a birthday. Ditch school. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy spa day there on 99.7 DJX. <laughs>